Hey everybody, I wanted to go over with you real quick. Here is my 5mm kidney stone. Passed it last night. Uh, no major pain passing this thing. Can you pass them on your own? Yes, you can. If you are considering lithotripsy and you've been told that you have 5mm or less sized kidney stones, it's in my opinion, based on my experience, you do not need litho. Uh, if you have a 5 millimeter stone that gets stuck, or, or one even smaller and it gets stuck, it's going to give you hell if it gets stuck in the wrong place. Um, I woke up 10 years ago in the morning and I felt severe pain in my side, down through my pelvic area, into my upper thigh. It was a deep, burning, horrible, aching pain that I can't describe any better than that. Um, and it also went into my back and it wrapped around my side. Um, and it was the worst pain I ever felt. And went to the ER, they gave me morphine. I was there for about two hours. They pumped me full of fluids and they sent me home. I peed it out four days later. Um, I never had to go to the ER again after that. And I, have peed out probably six or seven of them since then over the years. I do drink soda and I have to have my daily dose of chocolate. Yeah. I need to have at least one Nestle Crunch Bar a day. That's my, that's my snack for the day. <laughs> um, you can see that these are really sharp. They have all kinds of pieces and layers to them and they're just sort of stuck together. Um, what does it feel like when you pass it? Well, this guy didn't get stuck. He didn't get stuck inside of me. He was moving through me, ready to come out and say hello to the world. Um, you might feel a little, some aches and pains here and there. Um, in your pelvic area, you might feel um, an aching after you pee. It might go, oh, what is that ache? For some women, they may mistake it as ovarian cysts because it can feel like a cyst type of an issue. Um, sometimes you feel pain shooting when you're peeing. You might feel pain shooting into your pelvic bone um, it, down there. It's it, it could be give it could give you different symptoms, uh, but usually they're short and quick. And you might also feel a little queasy sometimes when you have one of these running through you. And then when it's ready to come out, you sit down, um, usually the day before or the day of, you will feel it drop inside of you. It will feel like a pin scraping the inside, but it's so quick. It's not agonizing. It doesn't kill you over it's really quick. Usually like when you sit down, it, you might feel it fall inside of you, believe it or not. And then the next day or later on that day, you go to sit down and go to the bathroom, maybe two, three days later even. And there it is. You'll feel it um, lodging itself. Uh, you can feel it as it's about to come out. Um, maybe a couple hours before that, you'll feel a sharp pain in your, uh, in your urethra down right near the exit. And then uh, when you go to pee, it'll shoot out. It'll be a split second of a really sharp pain. Um, but it's so split second. It, it's just like you feel it come flying out. And it scrapes you. And that's it. And then to get it out, I use a um, Q-tip. I press it down onto the kidney stone. And I slide it out of the toilet. And that's how I keep my kidney stones. That's how I, that's how I fish them out. Um, <clears throat> so that's my story. That's the kidney stone. And you will see, um, you know, based on my own experience, this is just me. It doesn't mean it's the same for everybody. Uh, I don't, <clears throat> I don't need a lithotripsy, which is what the doctor recommended. Uh, they try to take a, they try to take a, a burst of electricity and shoot to, to show you how accurate they have to be. This is a pen tip. 
They have to be that accurate with the lit lithotripsy. And what they want to do is pulverize it. So they send electric shocks through your back, through your kidneys, and hope that they blast it. That is literally the size of a pen tip. I'd rather try to pass it on my own. Thank you very much. Um, praise God. Again, I only ended up in the hospital one time. Praying to God that it stays that way. Uh, but there is your explanation of what a kidney stone looks like. And I will see if I can flip it over. There it is flipped over. You can see it's a you know different colors some dark brown in there I don't know why they are different colors Let's see if I can get a better shot there we go uh, so that's my experience I hope this has been helpful to somebody hang in there drink lots of water if you feel something going on if the doctor told you you needs to get lith that you need to get lithotripsy and all of your kidney stones are five millimeters or less um, I have even seen accounts of people passing six millimeter stones without lithotripsy, without any help at all. Um, you might just find that you don't need that. That's just been my experience, but everyone's different. Okay, hope you're all doing well, and thanks for watching.